Hello, once you've downloaded the color look files, adding them to Photoshop is very straightforward. Over here we see the downloaded files. There's the installation instructions, the zip file with the 3D LUTs, and a comparison chart, which we can use to give us an idea what the different looks, uh, how they uh, can be applied. I'll just open that up and you'll see that each color look has a name and each one applies a different color look to your image. So let me close that. And what I'll do is double click on the zip file that contains the 3D LUT files. And there they are in that folder. There are all the, in this case, the color looks set one with all the Van Gogh color looks. And then what you want to do is go to your Photoshop applications folder. And in there, you'll see a presets folder. Open up the Presets folder, and in there you'll see a folder called 3D LUTs. And you can either drag and drop or copy and paste the color looks into that folder. So I'll just right-click on this folder and choose Copy. And then right-click on the 3D LUTs folder in the Photoshop Applications folder and choose Paste. And now in that folder, you'll see the color looks, in this case the Art Series 1 Van Gogh files, are in that folder, the 3D LUTs folder. Now, all you need to do is launch Photoshop and open an image. And then, in your Adjustments panel, you'll see the Color Lookup Adjustment right here in the far right in the middle row. Click that to add a Color Lookup Adjustment. Click on the Load 3D LUT menu, scroll down, and you'll see all the 3D LUT files that you have added to the Color Lookup Adjustment. I'll just scroll down to some of the portrait settings, add that. If you want to change it, simply click on 3D LUT and choose a different color look. And each one will apply a different color look to your images. And you can just scroll through here and apply them. Again, you can use the comparison chart to give you an idea of what each one does, or just scroll through and see what you get. Each one is going to have a different look for the underlying image, depending on the brightness values of the underlying image and the color values of the underlying image. And don't feel that you need to use a portrait look for a portrait. You could try even a landscape in this case, or I'll go up to one of the floral looks. Again, each one applies a different color look, in this case, the Van Gogh looks, each one based on a Van Gogh painting, to your photography. Enjoy!